So a wormhole is basically a thin tube of space that connects two very, very distant parts of space. So it's almost like a tunnel. It's a little part of space. You go in there and you pop out somewhere else in the universe. It consumes the equivalent of one Earth every second. It weighs the equivalent of three billion suns. In science fiction movies, you might have seen that our favorite characters create a portal between two distant parts of the universe courtesy of great scientific advancements or some marvelous magical forces. These disruptions caused in the space-time curve enable them to travel through different timelines in the same universe, which is also known as time travel. We will discuss the rules and nature of this later in this video. These portals between two very far points in the universe are known as wormholes. Do wormholes really exist naturally in the universe? Or is this just magic that has been presented to us in the form of physics and mathematics? What very shocking discovery has James Webb Space Telescope made recently in regard to wormholes? And will humans ever be able to fulfill their dream of time travel and interstellar in this world? Or would it always remain just a fantasy of science fiction movies and theoretical framework of mathematics and physics? Let us find out in this video. In order to completely understand what wormholes are, we need to understand some concepts clearly. Until the 19th century, we humans used to believe that whatever is present in space, i stars, planets, comets, and asteroids, is separate from space, and these things do not influence space at all. In other words, if somehow we were able to take all the items away from space, there would still be an eternal nothingness present, and that is the space itself. It is like the stage to everything that is performing on this platform. Then Einstein simply happened to physics and all those previously held beliefs. He was arguably the greatest physicist or scientist of all time. The theory of relativity revolutionized almost every concept of space at that time. Einstein presented that space is not separate from all the things present in it, and it is connected to everything that is happening in it with one dimension of time and three dimensions of space. This was called by him a space-time curve. Planets, stars, and other galactic bodies influence space-times in different ways, and that's how black holes and wormholes come into existence. Generally, when a star consumes all of its energy and cannot hold up its mass, it collapses under its weight and forms a black hole. This black hole will contain singularity and a boundary known as the event horizon after which the information present on a thing that enters the black hole completely crumbles and gets stuck permanently into that black hole. Theoretically, there are black holes present in space that has the potential to completely destroy or engulf the whole universe. Similarly, according to relativity, if all the things are not separate from space and can influence the space-time curve as well, they also can rupture the space between two points with big masses, causing a shortcut between those very far points with the help of which you can travel almost instantaneously, weight faster than the speed of light. This is known as a wormhole. Until this groundbreaking discovery of James Webb Space Telescope, scientists were all agreed that even though general relativity perfectly describes the presence of wormholes, it is a mathematical theory and doesn't matter how magnificent it is on paper, it will be an incredible stroke of luck if we will be able to find one wormhole in real. However, some theoretical models always explain the presence of wormholes. The famous duo Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen described the first ever wormholes in 1935. The wormhole of Einstein and Rosen was a pair of black holes and their counterpart, white holes. What does that mean? According to them, the black holes in our universe are portals to infinite parallel universes. Let's think about flat space-time again. Things present in it can influence this space-time. So we talked about a star that consumed all of its energy and collapsed under its own weight. This star became a black hole. It will start to attract everything towards itself now. So everything that will pass the event horizon will lose all the information and will be destroyed or trapped forever in the singularity of its core. Black holes in our universe attract everything inside them. And in this parallel universe, where time runs backwards, 
This mirror black hole is throwing everything out, just like the Big Bang. This is known as the white hole. Unfortunately, Einstein-Rosen bridges cannot be crossed. To cross this bridge, an infinite amount of time would be required, which is impossible. You would enter into an Einstein-Rosen bridge and will be trapped there forever and eventually die. In order to cross a wormhole, we humans need a traversable wormhole. If the math in string theory and one of its variations is accurate, we might have an infinite amount of tangled primordial wormholes present in the universe. Shortly after the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations in the universe at the minor scales, Planck length 10 raised per minus 35, way smaller than the atom may have created traversable wormholes, more than we can think about. These are connected to each other through strings known as cosmic strings. In the first billionth trillionth second of the Big Bang, the ends of strings of these tiny black holes pulled apart. They scattered several light years from each other in the process of eternal inflation we described in the previous video. If wormholes were created by these cosmic strings or by some other method in the early universe, they could be all over the universe and waiting to be discovered. A few primary conditions need to be fulfilled for a traversable wormhole that we want to create. It should have obviously connected two distant parts of the space. For example, Earth or Mars, maybe the Milky Way galaxy with some other galaxy, etc. too. It should be sufficiently sized so that gravitational waves don't kill us. It must not have any event horizon to keep two-way travel open. It still doesn't matter if we fulfill all these conditions. The main problem is even more significant. Keeping the two ends open is the main headache regardless of whether our wormhole is traversable or not. Gravity always tries to close the two ends, leaving only a black hole behind. So to make our wormhole successful, we need an agent to prevent gravity from closing our wormhole. Following these principles, researchers from the Autonomous University of Barcelona, Spain, have created the first artificial man-made wormhole. They have designed a spherical device capable of transferring magnetic fields from one point in space to another. The apparatus of this model constitutes an inner sphere made of superconductive yttrium-barium-copper oxide, nested within another sphere of highly permeable mu metals, which can shield electronic devices. This outer shell consists of 150 mu metal pieces arranged such that they could cancel out the magnetic field. Usually, a magnetized superconductor completely distorts every single magnetic line in the surroundings. However, with the effect of multiple shells in the apparatus, the magnetic field appears to cross unseen from one end to another. Actually, we are safe to say that it vanishes at the entrance to the sphere and materializes at the other end. In the same way, the magnetic field is transported into some other dimension with a magical device in science fiction movies. Now let us talk about the shocking discovery James Webb Space Telescope has just made. NASA's latest deep space telescope, James Webb Space Telescope, has pictured a wormhole spinning in the Phantom Galaxy. It is the same place where scientists believe that there is massive black hole may be present in its center. I've been doing this for 10 years now, and Webb data is new, different, and exciting. Judy Schmidt who processed raw data from NASA into a stunning photo of the Phantom Galaxy, told Space.com. Of course, I'm going to make something with it. The images JWST is providing are just incredible and researchers from the University of Manchester now believe that there may be 10 times more galaxies present in the early universe as compared to our time. Apart from unparalleled advancements in the theoretical framework, the discovery of GWST and the creation of scientists at the University of Barcelona have ignited many revolutionary practical projects. Who knows, tomorrow, we will finally be able to travel in time or wander in a faraway parallel universe where time runs backwards. We do not know other things at the moment, but don't take your watch with you there as it cannot run backwards and you might become a glitch in the matrix. This marks the end of today's episode. Please subscribe to the channel and give your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thank you.